And in today's video guys, I'm going to give you an overall performance guide here for Fortnite Chapter 4 where I'm going to show you how you can improve your FPS and also reduce your input delay while playing Creative, Arena or basically any other game mode. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe since at 70k subscribers, I'm giving away a full-on SK61 with Gator and Yellow Switches. By the way, if you're currently searching for a budget keyboard, I just released a video today where I show you why this is the best budget keyboard on the market right now. So therefore, make sure to check it out as well. If at any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be utilizing a very specific fortnite performance pack here in chapter 4 guys which you can by the way get over on my discord just simply discord.gg slash lost stripes and from there you can get it in the fps boost packs channel simply go into this top search bar type in the fps boost and then you can already find the pack here guys from there you can download it and once you get it on your pc you first of all have optimizations for windows game mode gaming optimizations 2022 and the windows ultimate tweaker version 4.8 and what we're going to do in the first place guys is basically open up the optimizations for windows games and this is basically like a set mode in your windows 10 or windows 11 which is going to get enabled with this registry tweak which is going to result in a lot better gaming performance when it comes down to gaming in 2022 2023 basically on any of the latest windows versions and if you guys have any more questions on major geeks you can straight up find the direct tutorial guys huge shout out to them because they basically created this we're just simply going to click onto it add it to our registry while clicking onto yes and this mode is already enabled it's the built-in gaming mode of windows specifically which is going to provide you better gaming performance so therefore make sure that this one is enabled if you should run it into any issues which is super unlikely guys you of course also have the revert button in here then we're going to take a look at gaming optimizations pack 2022 guys and there we have in the first place now delete junk files we're going to click onto it and you can already see we have two bats in here delete log files and temporary files this basically makes sure that not only your temporary data but also your super fetch and basically anything which gets somehow saved on your pc is getting deleted guys so therefore please make sure to run both of these here real quick on your pc it's only gonna take a few seconds and then it's already done guys and finally you can also go here onto disk cleanup you know this small like exit here which you can then see here we're gonna run it real quick guys and what you want to make sure to select in here is super important guys windows error reports and feedback DirectX shader cache and delivery optimization files all of these here super important guys especially DirectX shader cache if it's somehow corrupted can cause fps drops in general or really bad gaming performance so therefore make sure this is enabled click on the delete files and it's only going to take a few seconds minutes really depending on your system speed overall and i'm just gonna let it run here you can see now it's already done basically and now we're already chilling with this step as well. What we want to take a look at here now in the final step of this pack here guys is the ultimative windows tweaker 4.8 which we're going to launch and once the program itself is launched guys we can first of all see all the core information about our PC, our windows version, which processor we're using, how much RAM we have installed, all the things guys. But what we actually want to do is click on the performance in the first place guys and what you want to do here is under performance tweaks actually make sure to drag all of these here all the way to the left side. This is especially super important let's just say that if an application crashes on your PC it doesn't take forever Ever until you can actually relaunch it so therefore that's a nice little extra which you can apply here guys but now let's get straight into the actual tweaks when it comes down now to the actual tweaks themselves guys i already applied you now the best ones for you which you can disable a hundred percent in order to actually increase your performance on your gaming pc we have something like disable smooth scrolling which is just like a visual animation you know on your pc disable edge tab preloading also not really necessary disable tablet input services disable prefetch services and super fetch services which is basically just collecting data on your pc temporary files disable Disable printers booling services and disable Microsoft Edge preloading guys. All of these here you can disable 100% with literally zero issues on any PC. So therefore what we want to do is click onto apply tweaks and then continue with the next step which would be under security and privacy guys where we can see now um, basically we have a ton of functions but here you have to be super careful because we have some stuff here like disable registry editor which we of course don't want to do 100% guys and also some other ones so therefore if you're like not really sure don't touch this at all guys just simply leave it like that. The only ones which I can highly recommend you here now guys is to fully disable a uh, disable windows error reporting just to unnecessarily service slowing down your pc run in the background don't need it disable windows mobility center ever really used of it you can just simply google it up real quick guys if you're like not too sure what it does it's basically just a bunch of extra features which no one pretty much uses and then as well disable onedrive which is like this built-in cloud into your windows 10 or windows 11 where it always asks you do you want to make a backup do you want to save your data and stuff like that never really utilized it so therefore for me personally i always disable it on a brand new windows pc but then once we go over to privacy guys this is where it gets like super fun now you can basically disable all of these we have something like disable telemetry biometrics again just collecting data of your pc giving them for free to microsoft you don't want it then we have something like disable cortana which is this voice assistant disable app access to camera only one which you maybe can leave on is disable app access to camera guys because really depending if you create content that's like the only one which kind of makes sense to actually give permission to 
but then something like disable password reveal button, disable Windows freak, disable Windows feedback request, disable Windows update sharing, all of that guys, just simply basically collecting data on your PC. And as mentioned, the only ones which you really can leave on here is like your microphone and your camera, I would say for the rest, just simply disable anything, just collecting data of your PC and we don't want that. So therefore make sure that this is actually applied now under tweaks. Then once we go into additional guys, you're just simply gonna leave it on the preset, which is already here enabled. But as an additional step guys, what you actually wanna do is enable the network adapter onboard processor because most main boards nowadays, especially if you have like a more newer PC, have actually a specific controller on your motherboard built in guys, basically doing all the calculations Calculations for you if you actually use your network adapter which could be I don't know your LAN port Wi-Fi stick whatever it is guys but for some reason on Windows 10 this is on stock disabled which means that your CPU actually has to do all the calculating basically in the background but what we want to do is enable this one because if we have it on our motherboard we can utilize it just simply make sure that it's always enabled here in this tool now because as mentioned if you can utilize it your Windows PC is automatically gonna start doing it which can overall actually decrease your ping and give you a way better and more stable connection so therefore make sure this is applied and now we're going to click finally onto apply tweaks guys and once we're done with everything you're basically just gonna restart your pc and enjoy having a lot better gaming performance in no matter which games you guys want to play so guys and for the final part of today's video we're going to take a look at device cleanup and this tool is extremely helpful when it comes down to reduce the input delay on any pc basically i'm going to explain guys we're going to launch first of all the tool here and we basically have all the temporary data or all the data which our pc remembered about each and every single device which you ever plugged into your pc you can see right now literally a couple of days ago i just plugged in here i don't know some usb input devices this could be basically a webcam a keyboard a mouse whatever guys and especially as someone who's like consistently changing stuff around or maybe plugging his webcam in then unplugging it again because yeah it gives you more input delay when you actually want to play games you always create basically temporary data on your pc and for most of you this is probably gonna go even like months back or whenever you did the last time like actually reinstall your windows so therefore your list is gonna be a lot longer i already showed this program here once in a while so therefore in my list isn't really like too many devices but what you guys want to do is first of all go to my main website guys which is called the straps blocks road from there you can get it i have a ton of useful tweaks already on here but what we want to do is click basically onto input delay you might get one or two pop-up ads and once you then get redirected guys just simply scroll down and there you can find a post with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video watching right now from there you can download it and once you get it on your pc we're basically gonna run device cleanup in the first place just simply go through it click onto devices and then onto select all then you can see now all the devices have been selected here in my list guys all the usb input devices hid keyboard devices basically anything which i ever plugged into my pc let's just say that i swap my keyboard out for something different and then again go back to this one this is already giving you free temporary entrances here and basically the more you have of these this is going to slow down your pc guys and therefore what you want to do once in a while is actually make sure to select all of them guys and then once you selected all of them you're gonna go again onto devices guys and go into remove selected and you can see the whole entire list now is gonna get cleaned up it's basically set to refresh again to zero and you can see now non-present devices zero selected devices zero and this is exactly how it should look like and the next time you're gonna restart your pc and basically plug in your mouse and keyboard it's gonna be the only entrance in here and this is super beneficial guys because you want to avoid having too many data which your windows pc sort of have to like look through all the time and having actually less devices in this listing here like no matter even if you don't use the current keyboards which are right now you're still on this list your pc is going to remember it and always go through all these data before it can basically give you access to the keyboard which you plugged in at the moment so therefore always make sure that this list is as clean as possible guys and with that said we're basically done here